Hello everybody, this is James and my channel Cad Roll Hunter. That's right, you can see we have pennies today. Okay, we've got pennies today. This is actually going to be a pretty small hunt. We've got just eight rolls of pennies. I went to my one of my local banks and said, what have you got? Uh, this will be a little bit interesting. You can see here on the end, the enders that I can see here, um, four of them are American. If I switch over to the other side, three of the four that I can see are American, one Canadian. Now I opened up, well, I could see the end of this one guy here, and that's also a US as well. So it's very possible that what we've gonna what we're gonna find here. Uh, is a whole bunch of US coins. Of course, Canadian pennies haven't been circulating since 2012. And um, so there's not a lot of Canadian coins in circulation, obviously. So we'll see what we get. All right, roll number one, and I flattened them out here. And what you can see is what we kind of suspected. There's a whole lot of US pennies. So what we're going to be looking for is some older copper, like this 1981 here on the end. Um, we are looking for any Wheaties and uh, anything else that might be interesting, some errors or varieties. So I don't know how much of this eight roll hunt is going to yield actually any Canadian coins. This might be a good old fashioned US penny hunt. So we're going to start in here and uh, I'll come back in when we find something interesting. Okay, we're in roll number one. We found a pretty nice 1967 with a fair amount of luster still on it here. And uh, we're getting our share of older copper scents. Uh, and of course, lots of newer zinc scents. Only one shield scent, so nothing really, really new. Okay, we've got a 1982 US uh, penny in pretty rough shape. But I thought we'd just take a look at this one because... The 1982 comes in a couple of different varieties. There's a large date and a small date. And this one here is an example of the large date. And you can see up here, just the, the two is um, not a lot of space between the bottom tail and this curving part here is the large date. The small date is uh, just has finer features all across the two. So this is not terrible shape and it's a very common coin, but something interesting to look at if you're looking through US pennies. All right, I'm back with a, a 1998 Denver minted penny. This one's kind of interesting because there are a couple of different varieties um, that you can look for. I'm going to flip it over under my scope here. And um, there are wide AM and close AM varieties. This is the close AM. The A and the M are almost touching. And in 1992, 98, 99, and 2000, there are different varieties of this penny where the A and the M are either farther apart or close. In the 98, the close is the common variety and it occurs in both the Philadelphia minted and the Denver minted coins. Um, so not rare, but again, something you wanna look for because in this variety, the wide AM is rare. In the 92, it's the close AM that's rare you wanna look for. Okay, so roll one roll down and as we suspected, they were all US pennies. I've got the copper cup here, I've got a fair amount of copper. Uh, the rest were the zinc scents. Um, so we got seven more to go. We'll just uh, see what we've got in this roll. And what do we got here? We got a Lincoln Memorial and that one's tied up. So we will have a look and see what we find. Okay, roll number two looks to be much the same deal. I see a whole lot of American scents in here. And uh, I'll bring in if we find something, again, interesting to look at. All right, we're halfway through roll number two and we found our first Canadian penny. It is a 2010. Okay, roll number four. I can see that this one's also a bunch of American pennies, but when I flatten it out, it looks like the first few are Canadian, including um, a pretty decent 1967 with the rock dove on it. So we'll go through these. This, of course, is the um, commemoration for a confederation and that one looks pretty lustrous we'll just put it under the scope here and yeah that that's a pretty decent looking coin there it is in in all in its glory in the widescreen is the rock dove 1967 and uh yeah lots of luster on this one still
So that's a nice one. And before we move on, the 1967 penny, there is some doubling that you can look for on the legend on the obverse. You might see doubling on the on either the G's, uh, on Regina, on Elizabeth, but I don't see any on here, but that's something you can look for for sure. So we actually found pretty four or three pretty nice um, 1967s here with lots of luster on them. And I've checked one of them for doubling, but we haven't checked the others. And so I don't see it. You'd see it pretty heavily on that G right in there. I'm gonna try the other guys here. There's some discoloration that makes it a little bit harder to tell, but no, nothing there. Just to be certain. Yeah, I don't see any there either. All right, I've got a 1988 uh, Lincoln scent here, and there are two varieties of this, and I was just about to put it under the scope. So you can see it's an 88D here. I was just about to put this under the scope to look at the designer's initials to the right of the Lincoln Memorial. Um, there are two varieties. There's a flared G and a regular G, and you would see the initials here, and you can kind of see a little trace, but this is almost like a 1988 no FG. It's probably the result of over-polished dye or grease in the dye. Um, and if I if I were to get in really quick, I mean, you can see something there, uh, but you can't quite see the FG. On other coins, you would see that quite prominently. I'm just going to throw another one on here where you could see where you should see the FG really clearly. There's the FG, um, but we can't really see that in this example here so I don't know that it's actually an error you can definitely see some of the line of the F there um, but definitely an interesting find nonetheless all right same roll and I found another 1988 I put this one under this under the uh, scope here you can clearly see the designers initials FG this is what they call the regular FG the flared FG basically has a little bit of a design element where the G sort of comes in and goes down. That This is the regular FG. The flared FG has that design element. And very next coin in roll number four. I didn't notice it, but look at that. We got our first wheat scent of the bunch. So I'm going to take this, take a look here. Looks like it could be an older one maybe. Oh, I'm going to put it under the scope. 1944 Philadelphia. Awesome. And just two coins later, our second one. It looks like a 1946 here. Put that under the scope. And sure enough, it's a 46 Philadelphia. Okay, roll number seven. And I have a 1969S. You can see that up here. I've got it under the scope. Um, and 1969S is one of the rare uh, coins you can find in U.S. pennies. It's the 1969S double die penny. Um, I've got it, pulled it up over here. You could see it would be really heavy doubling on the date, on Liberty, God We Trust. Um, that's not what I have here. You can see I don't see any doubling on that. I, For a moment on that God, I thought for a second there was something, but it's just some damage. And then... Uh, you can see Liberty looks pretty normal. So we didn't find anything rare or unusual there, um, but it's another interesting coin you can look for. It's exceedingly rare, um, but you're never going to find it if you don't look for it like this. Here we are at roll number eight, the last roll, and there's a Canadian ender here. And I opened up the other side, and there's a Canadian penny in there. So we might have a Canadian penny hunt after all. Let's get into it. And wouldn't you know it, once I flattened it out, I could see in here a whole bunch of American pennies. So we got faked out. So we'll see what we have in there. There's a couple at least on the end. So we've got a few. But it uh, looks like we might have been tricked. Okay, well, we're still in that last roll. And we've got a bit of an older one. We see the Laureate Portrait of the Queen on here. I haven't flipped it over yet. And it's, uh, oh, a 1959. So... Um, aside from our two wheat pennies that we got, this is the certainly the oldest Canadian. 
in such a small batch, but there it is, a 1959 in pretty rough shape, but we got a bit of an oldie. All right, well, we finished that roll, and it was a little over half Canadian, actually. Um, we found that older 1959, but really not much else in there. So we'll do a wrap-up, and I'll show you what we found. Okay, so here is the wrap-up. Eight rolls, the vast majority of which were American pennies. What we ended up getting were we got four pretty nice 1969 um, Canadian cents. We got that 1959 Laureate portrait. We got a really nice 1967. Uh, we also got a 1963D. I just don't have one in my collection. A really nice 1978D. Those two wheat pennies, the 42 and the 44, that was great. And then a few other shiny ones, a 1978, a 1980D, and we got that 1988D, uh, almost no FG. Again, we can see where the FG should be. You can sort of see it here. It's really light. It's really like a grease strike, um, but it's not necessarily, or not anywhere close as, as good as what you would see on another one. So. I hope you enjoyed the, um, the video. Please like and subscribe. Um, I'm primarily focusing on Canadian coin roll hunting. That was the aim. That's not how it worked out today, but I'll have more videos soon. Thank you so much.